What's going on, Leo? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be your reading for the month of October 2023. So in this reading, Leo, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more for you regarding October 2023, Leo. But before we begin this reading... As always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here, Leo, in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance, Leo, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Leo. So... Without further ado, I'm going to pull the energy for you. We're going to see what's coming your way for October 2023, Leo. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Leo. All right, let's see what we got going on here for you, Leo. Okay, interesting energy that you got going on here, Leo, for sure. It seems like you're definitely reinventing yourself here in a very successful way. Um, there's some sort of natural uh, reinvention of your own frequency, of your own self, your own identity, whatever that means for you. We're gonna see, there's definitely some sort of ending that leads to victory. I feel like a lot of you, it's gonna be an ending within yourself, but we're gonna see. So um, before we get into the tarot, let's start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards. And this is going to be the energy that you need more of, the, the frequency that spirit wants you to embody for October. And the first here is you have the hummingbird. And it's funny, I said, what energy do you need more of? And it just says energy. So on this deck, it's interesting that this card represents the sun. The sun has to do with your vital life force energy, your ability to be creative, and also your identity. So I do feel like there's a readdressing of your identity. Okay, who is, what is your identity? Because whenever we look, I always use this example of, we look at like a sports team. You know, if, if a sports team is bad, we say like, that team has no identity. Like they're always different. They don't know who they are. So there is a power in knowing yourself. And even if it's a painful process of discovering that, but the main message of this card, Leo, is you have a lot of excess energy. And even if you are feeling tired and lethargic, there's going to be a big boost to your energy in October. And I want to see you make the most of it. Now, the interesting thing about hummingbirds is they're like very single-minded and like relenting in getting um, the nectar out of something. You see this hummingbird is using their beak to suck the nectar out of something right here. And um, there's something here about you having a very single pointed focus or you just being very, very active. Okay, like we're going to figure it out being very active or for those of you that know exactly what you're doing in your career, you have a, you have a goal that you know that you're, what your end goal is. It's just to be single-minded, sucking that nectar here, okay? The interesting synchronicity that I'm getting from this as well is you see how on this deck, the hummingbird is sucking the nectar out of the moon. So there's some sort of emotional thing that you can feed off of. I feel like it's your own potentially even negative emotions that can motivate you. So you need, what do you need more of? Be like the hummingbird, very energetic going from here to here to suck your nectar. So um, there's also something for an alternative message that if a lot of you don't have any energy, it's because you're not doing enough. Uh, there was a message that I got for you a few months ago or even last month that it's like, by the end of the day, 
when you go to sleep at night, I want you to be tired. I want you to be tired, okay? Because that's the natural way of it with our ancestors here. And there's something that like a lot of you could have just been lulled to sleep by the matrix or just, you know, not really searching for your true self. I feel like that comes into play where you're really hungry. There's something you're very hungry for. So what the universe is saying to me is like, Leo, you're hungry. You're hungry for success. You're hungry to achieve your goals. You're hungry to transform your life. So you might as well take that energy that you have and utilize it or get it going. Okay. So energy, don't just kind of, this is not really too much of a month of introspection. I feel like this is a month of doing for you, okay? But there is an ending, so we're gonna see what that's about. Then you have rebirth. So interestingly enough, you have what energy do you need more of? You have the snake. So in some sort of way, you are shedding your skin right now, or at least this is the advice, what, spirit, what energy you need more of to shed your skin, Leo. So just because you change and people may react negatively, oh, Leo's not the same as they were before, that's good. You need the energy to reinvent yourself. And reinventing yourself in nowadays age should be one of the most pleasurable things that you could do. Um, because back in the day, the only people that had the luxury of crafting their own identity, this is who I am, this is what I am motivated in achieving, this is what I stand for, this is what people know me as, a reputation, that was only really available to the upper class. Everyone else was like a peasant. Nowadays, all of us have the ability to be in the upper class and the upper class is really just about the upper class of consciousness. It doesn't have to do with anything else. Um, but taking pleasure in playing with your identity, playing with forms, not taking it seriously, but then, so have fun with that. I think rebirth is very critical for you to, to shed your skin with a lot of energy. So it's almost like I'm getting a visual of like you sh you're, you've shed your skin. Now you have all this like, like weight, like there's not a lot of weight on you and you have the energy to go from here to there like the hummingbird to suck the nectar out of life. So, and then interestingly enough, you have the dragonfly, which is joy. So the energy you need more of is joy, rebirth and energy. So this is a month to really take joy and going from here to there to reassess what, what is my joy? Am I following my joy here or not? Okay, so it's very, um, it's a pretty good month of high en energy for you. Um, for sure. So let's get into the tarot. Your opportunity for this month is the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is all about learning a skill. It's about apprenticeship, developing your, your skills alongside someone. This could be at your work. You're learning a valuable skill. You know what you want. You're that hummingbird sucking the nectar out of something. So the three of pentacles is your opportunity is definitely with people. You have an opportunity to interact with people and give and receive knowledge in turn. But this is also about finding, you know, Per, a person or a situation that you really trust their knowledge. So um, I always say it's not <clears throat> just like the endless search for knowledge that counts. It's the discernment to where am I going to get my knowledge from? Because I've seen it, trust me. <clears throat> As a, I'm not trying to like toot my ego. As a crystal child, star seed, I have a very different frequency than most people. And maybe this is judgmental, but I just see people who are like addicted to knowledge, but you just go inside their house and the books that they're reading are like, Oh, like you, you could have redirected your knowledge a little bit better there, buddy. It's just like, um, so discernment about who you're going to work with or not work with is very important. And you also have an opportunity to give yourself permission to reinvent yourself and therefore be in a developmental phase. The three of pentacles has to do with um, development, but the number three and teaching, this is also about you becoming a master teacher or learning from a master teacher, okay? So craftsmanship, things like that. Um, your challenge is the seven of cups. And so this is about sorting through illusion, sorting, you know, it's very difficult for you to make a choice right now, an emotional choice. And remember how this hummingbird was sucking the nectar out of that moon, the emotions, the water has to do with emotions here. So it may be a very good month for you to go from one thing to the other. Do I like this? Do I not? Do I like this? Do I not? I do feel like for you, it's a very good month to experiment with what is my joy? Who brings me joy? What type of people bring me joy? Because you're clearly entering into a new cycle where you need to shed your skin. And so now that you've shed your skin or the process of shedding your skin itself will be going from here. Do I like this? Do I not? Do I not? Not just settling for the first thing and being like, this is better than before. You know. So we're going to have to see. It could have to do with love as well, that seven of cups. Because I do feel that there's a love situation that could be interfering with your work at this time. Um, I feel like there's a situation that you know you have a lot of potential with someone, whether this is romantic or not. 
Um, <clears throat> it's very interesting. So some of you as well, I get that you feel used by someone or someone used you as a springboard to their own success. And this could be some, a theme that you are. I, I do feel someone that you used to have a lot of really harmonious emotions with, Leo, in October 2023, the reason why some of you are going to have to re redefine your joy and, and go through this process of shedding your skin and rebirth is because you spotted a snake. There is someone, there is a, a big message here about someone used you as a springboard for their own success. And this could be their own emotional success. It could be a loved one kind of like, keeping tabs on you, checking in with you, but not wanting to see you grow. Or like someone used you as a springboard for their own emotional, and I get this very strongly. I get this with like a family member. Someone used you as an emotional springboard in order for them to be successful. So their success may have to do with you being in an arrested state of development, or someone could have physically used your resources. as a, There's something about someone using you or you feeling used, and then that actually lighting a fire under you. And Leo, if I'm getting one thing from this reading, it's actually coming through very strong. There's something here about you using the anger of someone using you to propel you forward, not to get back at them. Because the best revenge that you could have in this life is for you to just be successful. And there's so, there is something here about um, revenge on someone that's going to take a long time for you, but it's there. And it's not that you want revenge on them to hate on them. There's something, there's a weird thing coming through about you wanting revenge on someone but not to exile them out of your life, just to re just to go through that process of rebirth. So there may be a redefining of a relationship. Um, I get a lot of you, this could be with your family, a close friend or a lover. Once again, someone you, you feeling used and that actually lighting a fire under you because there's something about very strongly, and now this is all intuition and this is where I really connect a lot of the times. There's something about like someone, whether it's an emo, you know, the emotional springboard or the physical one that I'm talking about, spiritual one, there's something about like someone, I, you know, I'm not going to go down that road yet. Here we go. When it comes to your overall general energy, this is clearly a death and a rebirth here, a, a cleansing. It's very plutonic energy, um, purging, transformation, you know, shedding your skin. And your overall general energy of the temperance card, the 10 of swords, and also the six of wands here, I really feel like something comes to an end that allows you to really just go for it, if that makes any sense. There could have been an emotional connection with someone. This could be the person that you feel used you. It now comes to an end. It's fully ending, but it's not over. I feel like you're taking a break with someone who you feel very hurt by. A lot of you won't admit that you feel hurt by this person, but you just feel angry or used instead of hurt. But just remember that anger is a cover emotion for hurt. And I just feel like there's a very painful experience that lights a fire under you. You feel emotionally abused. I do feel that because the 10 of cups, excuse me, the 10 of swords to the temperance card, I feel like someone, you feel like someone is just not taking your best interest at hand. Someone could have a very big ego that you decide to end things with, but then it leads you to your own success. Okay, so th this may be a little bit of a revenge reading, but it's not in a nasty sense. It's just... I do get for some of you, this is a deep soul contract that ha it had to happen this way f to light a fire under you to be successful. And some of you will be successful in that I don't want to be anything like this person. You know what I mean? I mean, many times we enter, you know, I don't know, because it's very interesting here, Leo. So um, let's just keep going. When it comes to what you don't see coming, you have the judgment, the two of cups, and also the magician. So for a lot of you in a practical sense here, with your challenge, there's definitely a love situation that you know has a lot of potential. You know you're having a major shift in consciousness about the potential between you and someone. But for those of you dealing with that, I also feel like you feel it gets in the way of your own work or whatever you're doing to reinvent yourself to follow your own joy. There's something here about do I, me spending time with this person. Is it great or is it really just taking away from me really being a savage Leo like the hummingbird and sucking the nectar? So you're very confused about a love situation because on the one hand, you know you have a lot of potential there. For others of you, there is a developing work situation that feels very faded. I feel like whoever you're learning from this month, remember the three of pentacles is your opportunity. And what you don't see coming, you have the judgment, the two of cups, and the magician. I really do feel like there's someone who's going to help you channel you know, some sort of emotionally dissatisfying experience that you're you're working on purging here with the temperance card balancing out some sort of major ending. There's someone here who can help you with that. 
Um, so very interesting. We're going to have to see what that's about. For a lot of you, it's just a choice in love. But for a lot of you, when it comes to your advice here, Leo, you have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and also the Knight of Pentacles here. So when it comes to your advice, there's something about using your logical mind to readjust your productivity. Your advice is to really think rationally, not emotionally, because remember, your challenge is the Seven of Cups. And I feel like there's a fallout with you and someone that made you bitter and not wanting to work rather than that sparking you to work. There's something here, Leo, I'm telling you, for many of you, this will not resonate. For many of you, it will, so I have to get it. There's someone who, once again, you feel they used you as, an, as a springboard to their own success, emotional springboard, your own, your own staying in an arrested state of development, your own failure was an emotional springboard for someone to feel good about themselves. For others of you, it's literally someone lived with you, someone used your money, someone used you, and now they're very, very successful, and you're becoming bitter about it rather than you using that to actually motivate you to get more in the physical world. Because there is something here about you thinking that this experience of me being used by this person, this experience of me being emotionally or financially abused by this person just makes you want to not deal with it at all. Just makes you want to say, humans are stupid. I don't want to play these games. I don't want to have to go out and be successful now because of this. And even if you are on that path to success, it's in your subconscious mind. An ending with someone, you don't talk to them anymore, or even when you talk to them, it's like barely, but they use you as an emotional or physical springboard, is now calling into question your own ambition. And some of you, it's taming down your ambition when the other, uh, it should have been the other thing. So they're also, if this has to do with the past, there may have been an opportunity for you to collaborate and work with someone, but they chose not to work with you. And now you're shutting down because of that. It's just what I'm getting. Some of you, it may not be for you. A lot of you, it will be. For all of you, there is something here about using your logical mind to readjust your work and slowly reinvent yourself because this is not about being in a rush. This reading, once again, about joy, rebirth, and energy Take your time figuring out what you want to do, but I'm just letting you know there was an, a very traumatic emotional experience some of you will be having in October. I'm calling, and if this is not resonating with you about the person who used you as an emotional springboard, a, a financial or physical springboard, for some of you, if that didn't already happen, I'm getting for some of you, it already happened, and now it's throwing off your whole vibration subconsciously in a way that you're not fully aware of. For some of you, it will be happening right now in October. And it hasn't happened yet. But by mid-October, there will be a big ending that lights a fire under you. So for some of you, what I'm actually describing is something that's developing that will come to a culmination to actually light the fire under you. So by the end of October, I see you having a victory after a bad ending. And the ending has to do for the person for a lot of you. And then you're judging, oh, this person was actually here to unlock my potential even though I used to hate them. It's a very dicey situation, so let's get more let's get more information on it. Let's go ahead and clarify why the um, three of pentacles is your opportunity. Yeah, king of pentacles here. Okay. Yeah, King of Pentacles, uh, excuse me, the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Lovers. Wow. Yeah, for a lot of you here, Leo, um, you are meant to use your anger, or I can't believe that this person would treat me this way. Some of you, in the past, you've had this experience. I can't believe, I can't, Two of Swords, I can't believe that someone that I really loved and had a lot of potential with me would do this to me. How could they do this? And a lot of you here, no matter how you cut it, you're using emotional pain in order to get more abundance in the physical world. That's definitely what you're doing. Now, some of you, you may be working a lot alongside a new mentor that you're not sure about yet. You're not sure about yet. Um, and you're, you're giving them time. Um, but for most of you, it's definitely more so to do with this. It's you're very pissed off at someone who you feel that you, for all of you, this is what it is. You're pissed off that you feel someone used you emotionally, physically, spiritually, whatever. And your opportunity is to translate that 
into a passion for you to gain success in the physical world yourself, rather than seeing someone use you as an emotional, physical, spiritual springboard, and then being like, they're so successful. See, that's all it takes. I don't want to have to play those games. I don't want to do everything like that. You don't have to be a scumbag like them and use people. You can do it the stand-up way, and maybe that's the lesson that you're made to, to, to teach them. But there's something about you bouncing back, because once again, and your overall general energy is the Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands. For some of you, this will be this will be a breakup. For some of you, the very opportunity is for you to end something because you may be on fake. I do get a fake chumminess. Some of you, this person that you feel abused by or misused by could be more to, to a higher propensity for others of you, lower degree to other of you, subtle. You're meant to use this experience to fire you up, okay? Instead of being like, I don't want to be anything like them, um, it's not that you have to be like them, but you need to use this to fire you up. But there's something about you pretend like it's not that bad. Like you still talk to that. You're just like, oh, I hope you're doing good. But it's fake. So there's no, I can't do this. You can't be fake. So I'm not even saying that you're being fake. I'm saying someone's been fake with you and now you're pissed off. But the way that you're pissed off is not being channeled properly. And it could have to be with a lover for some of you. Two of swords to the lovers. You're being mistreated right now. A lot of you are being, once again, used as a springboard right now. And if you honestly recognize, wow, this person is just using me right now, then end it and, and let it fire you up. Okay, because you deserve better than this. Whatever this is in your challenge, you deserve better than this, Leo. And some of you are just really honestly saying, how do I bring justice here? How do I bring emotion? How do I feel better about this? And, you know... Uh, it's very interesting here, Leo. Very interesting. So with that being said, I just want to jump right here. Why is this here? Because there's going to be a major ending with you and someone. For some of you, once again, this already happened and it's more of like coming up for you to realize what actually happened. Why is it? And for some of you, it will be happening mid-October. Big ending between you and a lover, fa family member or friend or colleague that really fires you up. And this could be a bot, you know, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, you could feel misused by a company in general. Um, this could be um, an employer that once again talked a big game then didn't back it up. Um, the Knight of Wands is coming out with a Ten of Swords. So hold on, Leo. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Sorry. <sighs> okay. The Ten of Swords, Leo, was clarified by the Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Cups here. So this ending is very emotional and very related to the physical world. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords here is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Cups. There's also something about you realizing that someone was slowly, subtly abusing you. There's nothing overt here. That's what this is really about. This is this is subtle, I'm, I don't wanna say abuse, subtle mistreatment coming to the surface that really hits you hard. So for some of you, this mistreatment, Leo, of you, someone using you as a springboard, sucking all your energy, not being open, not being honest about it, using you as a springboard. I'm telling you, this whole reading is about someone in your past or currently using you as a springboard to success, but it wasn't obvious and it may not have even been obvious until right now. Meow. So with that being said, don't be like me and a cat, you know, a little meerkat. You're the lion. I'm the meerkat. You're the lion. How many times do I have to put my down myself down to build you up? Okay, that's my own shadow, but thank you for appreciating it, the funniness. But here's the thing. The Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. There's clearly an emotional situation coming to an end here. I feel like this person has been in your life feeding off your energy for a very long time, and it's really meant to fire you up. Instead of, and I don't want you to make an enemy out of this person, I just want you to understand the, the dynamic of what's going on. But for some of you from a higher level, this was all meant to happen for you to have this experience, for this to, person to push you into rebirth. And for those of you that are on the leading edge of consciousness and that can understand whatever soul contract you have going on with this person, or physical contract, in what you don't see coming, you realize why this had to happen. 
It's for you. This is actually your greatest gift. This, if you can label it at this, Leo. You have the Judgment card, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. So whether this is you, you've been working somewhere and you thought the company was really going to give you benefits and then you realize they don't even care. If I died and never showed up to work tomorrow, they don't care. Whether this is a son or a mother emotionally wanting to be there and then they're just not there anymore. A friend, there's something about ghosting. You may have feel ghosted by someone or this just all comes to light and then you do the ghosting. And I wouldn't suggest ghosting, but I would suggest ending here. And um, very, 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 very important month for you to realize this. And let's see why the Six of Wands is here. What is this vi What is this public victory for you? Like, why is this here for you? Um, yeah, this is like all spiritual here, Leo. Um, you're using your intuition to make a decision to make an upgrade that is very, let me just break it down. <laughs> the six of sword, the six of wands in your overall general energy, you're using your intuition to make a decision about a personal upgrade and end of a cycle with you and someone that will lead you to more abundance that hurts very much, but it's very much designed to push you into abundance that activates your own potential. The potential card is also here and what you don't see coming that leads to an ending with you and this person or a transformation that is very painful to go through. And it all leads you back to yourself because the last card here is Leo. And then you have, of course, uh, this sun energy, which is all about you. So there's all something going on, very painful, but it all goes back to you here. Um, and use your intuition with those cards because it will paint a story based on the details of your life that I'm not capable of keeping up with unless it was a one-on-one -on -one reading and you explain to me what's going on, but I would... Yeah, it's like you're... you. Wow. You... What is going on here? Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify why the Seven of... Um, seven of Cups is your challenge. Why is that your challenge, Leo? I think your challenge is that you need to quickly experiment or also quickly decide what you're going to do with this person who is very in and out, non, you know, someone who is very non-committal with you. Once again, that springboard thing. Your challenge is the um, eight of wands, the four of wands, and also the seven of cups. I feel like you feel a little bit conflicted because you know from a deeper level that this was meant to happen for you to open up your own potential. But um, the seven of cups is clarified by the seven of cups. So your challenge is a lot of confusion, illusion, um, and a communication with a soul family member, perhaps like there's something you want to talk about with someone that I don't know if they're going to really give you the time of day for it. And that should just fire you up even more or, you know, cause you to change things. So this is what I honestly feel like I've said what I need to say to you, Leo, there's a big rebirth going on with the way that you're going to get success in the physical world, but it has to do with something going really wrong. And then that lighting a fire under you, which potentially is the very thing that is giving you the energy of the hummingbird to just go out on the hunt. Like Leo suck that nectar out of the, like the first thing I said, or something that I caught, that's very crucial to this reading. You look what the hummingbird is sucking. The sun is behind them. What they're sucking is emotions. So use this emotional confusion and perhaps even anger and bitterness to propel you.